Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your spirit, I can't even speak, your messages from spirit even. <laughs> and it is for November 2021 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon rising in Venus. So I we'll hope you well Pisces. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your cards. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards and then we will look at the tarot cards. So first message from spirit please for Pisces. November 2021. Remember Pisces, these readings won't resonate with everybody and they are mainly messages, these readings. Okay. Okay, so we have action. You know, it's interesting. I always see, you see the storm clouds, but the sun is beginning to break through. It's always a really hopeful energy, that card. But there is a lot of darkness there, but it does feel that the light is just beginning to penetrate through. And I feel in this energy, you're being asked to take action to make that happen. Because we have happiness. Now, it might well be for some of you, someone is on your side this month. It might well be a person of influence, but there's greater happiness here as well. Let's see what else we get. Pisces, I'm getting a lot from those two cards already. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. Message for a lovely Pisces. Thank you. There's a lot of water energy there as well, very much like your element. What do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces. Yeah, we have soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So a reason to use some of your own inner power and we have love. You know, this can be self-love, someone showing you love. It can be in relationships too. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Okay. A message for Pisces, please. This is the Archangel Michael Oracle deck. What do we have for a lovely Pisces? Thank you. Message for Pisces. Positive thoughts create positive results. Law of attraction energy. What we put out to the universe is what we get back. So we have divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continually connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. So some positive energy there. Pisces, let's see what we have with the cards. Okay, thank you. Uh, first card, we have the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. Nine of Cups. That's beautiful. Six of Cups, all water. I did say that at the beginning. I noticed this water energy. Water, water. And the, <laughs> and the Seven of Cups. Okay, Pisces. It's interesting. I did look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. So, five of pentacles, bottom of the deck. And I do want to start on this because I'm, a, I'm just, it's, it's just standing out to me with all the cups on the table. So we have the energy here of, I am just noticing six, seven, eight, nine cups. You've got, you've got the numbers in a row almost, you know, six, seven, eight, nine. There's steps that you need to take this month. It might well be 
there are stages that you're going through in some way this month as well. And it's fine because I think that's part of the master plan here. I feel that there will be something evolving in terms of steps that you're taking. We have the Five of Pentacles here, Pisces. So this can be a card of... It can be, I mean, in terms of money areas, it can be to do with loss of money in some way. So it can be to do with job losses or career losses or financial losses in some way. This can be to do with lack or insufficiency, changes in working hours, changes in contract as well that are not for your, that, that are not enough, that are not giving you enough. So I certainly feel in this energy Pisces, for some of you, there is a wish available to you, but you need to take action to enjoy some level of happiness. I strongly feel, and I felt this at the beginning, somebody is on your side this month. The universe certainly is, because we've got soul power here as well. And you are 12th house energy, which is the house of spirit. So there's certainly an energy, and this can also be lack or insufficiency in other areas of your life. So love, romance, relationships. The message is stay positive, focus on the positive or how to bring positive change in your life because it's available to you this month and that's what the card is showing. And that's what spirit is helping you with this month. 12th house energy. The beneficial energy of the universe bringing in a wish to you, helping you get your wish in some way by walking away from things that don't serve you anymore. The Eight of Cups can actually be a card of moving on from disappointment. It can be about emotionally going in search of what is going to bring you greater happiness and fulfillment because this month it's available to you. The Nine of Cups is your wish coming true. And this is the energy of going in search of that. Now, for some of you, that might mean walking away from situations that don't serve you anymore, that may have played their course, may have caused disappointment in some way. Someone is taking inspired action. It's not having to walk away, it's choosing to, because they're walking towards the Nine of Cups, a wish coming true getting your heart's desire, getting greater satisfaction and happiness and contentment in your life. Now, this is also a card of success. This is about switching on and moving in the right direction to what is going to bring you greater happiness and fulfillment and joy this month. Pisces, the Six of Cups, so it might well be the past has a part to play in this. You might be moving to a location that historically is of significance to you. Could be near your parents, could be near your family, could be where your heart is pulling you in some way, somewhere where you visited as a, where you holidayed. You know, it can all, all, always be that kind of energy. It might well be for some of you that you're going back to an older place of work because it might well be for some of you where you are now is not as good as where you enjoyed before. So for some of you, you might be going back somewhere, but with a greater success, satisfaction, contentment. So it might well be some level up energy is happening for you here. This can also be a person of significance from your past in some way, past colleague, it could be a family member um, giving you advice. I feel in this energy it could also be somebody of influence from your past, friend for example. Uh, it might well be that they play a part here because remember spirit can work through people and this is an energy of spirit bringing in some blessing for you. That's how spirit is helping you. It's saying you can achieve greater happiness here, but you have to take action and inspired action to go for it now. And again, 
this is just such a beautiful energy of happy equilibrium, achieving a happy equilibrium, finding your own happy joy and equilibrium again. And why? Because Spirit is saying that there is great potential around you, great promise around you. This is about focusing on new hopes and new dreams and new wishes this month because greater happiness is available to you now. So you're being told to pursue new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And with the Eight of Cups being here, right after the Seven of Cups, you're clear where there wasn't maybe clarity. You're getting clarity in terms of the direction that you need to go, what you want from the heart, what you want to pursue now. For some of you, it might well be in this energy, you're ready to move on from a situation that has felt lacking in some way, whether something ended for you or whether you want to walk away from something that's not serving your highest good to something better, to get greater reward, to get greater satisfaction, to get greater love, to get greater contentment. What the card is saying here, you have, if you take action, greater happiness is available to you. I do feel, and I can't help it because the dolphins are here, I, I feel that there is someone significant helping you this month as well, as well uh, Pisces. Um, it, it just feels in this energy that this is brought to you because spirit is working through a person or people this month. And it feels really beautiful. And it's to bring something that you love to your door. Now we can love our careers. This can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It might be a place where you love. It feels in this energy, you want greater satisfaction. You're not feeling fulfilled uh, with this energy, but there is greater fulfillment available to you. The message is action. Okay, that's what I have for you. It feels a really positive message. I love the fact that the majority of these cards are cups, which is your energy. This is about adopting your energy, your intuition, listening from the heart and letting that lead you in the direction that you want to go. Look, oh my goodness, look. Number 39, you are ready for a change of scenery. Explore. <laughs> And we have, find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take the first step, number 42, beautiful. We did talk about steps, didn't we? I just feel that there's a step change here. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Pisces, if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.